Yes, it's the show you love to watch the most. My name is Kofi Dagu. It's Humor Hangout with myself and some very wonderful people. Today, I have a very wonderful young man here. You, you're going to love this. I, I tell you, ah, oh, he's different. But before then, let me ask you this. Are you aware that the way the Google Assistant works abroad, overseas, whatever you call it, in foreign lands, is different from how it works in Nigeria? I remember having this experience. I was driving in Texas for the first time, you know, and there you needed you know, to use the Google Drive to tell you directions to wherever you're going. It was my first experience. I wasn't used to it. And because it's a big city, you need that assistant. I, especially if you're a stranger, you don't know where you're going. So I left home. It was around 7.30 p.m. Typed in where I was going. And then it told me as we were leaving home, uh, at 100 yards turn right, and then take this road, and then keep going for the next four kilometers. Now you see that four kilometers is a long stretch of silence. And as we were going, I had forgotten totally that there was a Google Assistant in the car that would be telling me at certain points how to move. So I was alone in the car. Everywhere was silent. And then when it got to about the fourth kilometer and I had to move, only me in the darkness, Remember, I'm coming from Africa, where voodoo, juju, and things like that are natural to us. So imagine only you driving at night in the car, and then suddenly you now hear a voice. So I just heard, in the next hundred, I threw the steering away. I miss. Before I remember that, oh, okay, it's my, and the, the thing was connected to the car speaker. So it, it felt like the witch was live with me in the dark in the car. I threw, I threw staring the ways. Ah! You people followed me to this place. I threw it. See, eh? Now, when I got my balance, oh. So, getting back to Nigeria, I know everywhere in Lagos. I don't need a system, but just to try it. Oh! Ah! Ah! They humbled the Google Assistant that was abroad on that. They humbled it in Lagos. To the point that the Google girl in that listing now has H factor. You have arrived. <laughs> I'm telling you. And it is so bad that the Google Assistant, once it doesn't know where you are going, it just keeps quiet. Keeps, it just goes off on you. It has become a Nigerian. It's so bad that Google Assistant will take you into one way where last man officials are waiting in the corner. I'm serious. I saw Google Assistant after missing you on the road and last man guys caught you collected money. Later went back to meet them, say, where's my share? Where's my own share? I, she mean, me bring her come one way. <laughs> it's a different ball game here. I was going to a suburb called Ukoko. I'm, I'm calling it suburb because I know it's a suburb. <laughs> Though it's a ghetto. <laughs> but in American parlance, once it's a bit far away from the main city, it's a suburb. Though it's not so developed as other suburbs in America. So I typed in destination. Now from my place in Ikoi, to Okoko, going through a particular route called Orile, it's about 35 minutes, straight road. But the roads were bad, the highway was bad, so the alternative route was to go through the mainland, Ikeja, Egbeda, and all the way round to Okoko. I typed the direction, I am going to Okoko. So the Google map was seen from Ikoi to Okoko. It wasn't seen Ikoi, Oshodi, Ikeja. He, he wasn't seeing it. He didn't want to see it. So I left home. When I got on the third mainland bridge, it kept telling me, make a U-turn. <laughs> but I know where I'm going. The sister kept saying, make a U-turn. I didn't listen. I was being stubborn. When I got to Anthony, he said, go under the bridge and make a U-turn. He still wanted me to go through National Theater and go through really. I didn't answer. So she said, okay, don't worry. As we got to Ikeja, pim, I didn't hear again. I got to Egbeda. Now there are several routes in Egbeda that will take you to Okoko and lose you. She kept quiet. She didn't say anything. She just, okay. She I said, make you turn, you didn't answer me. I will show you. Guess what? This Google Assistant didn't say a word to me until I got to Okoko. 
And as I arrived at the venue, I heard, you have arrived. I said, you are mad. <laughs> you are crazy. Arrived where? Well, you have arrived. Himo Hangouts, Kofi the Guru. See you soon. Are you there? You are doing well. You know, when I see people who are doing well, especially, I like to tell them, I say, oh, you are doing well. It's your boy. No, it's your daddy, Mr. Macaroni. And you get it now. You are watching Humor Hangout with Kofi Daguru. All right. Okie okay, dokie, okay, people. Yes, it's still Humor Hangout with Kofi the Guru, and um, I have an amazing guest here today. Ah, boy. How do I introduce this wonderful gentleman? He's um, a non-conformist, that's the word. A gospel brand that chose to elevate gospel music in the new norm. Let me explain what I'm trying to say. Regular gospel music is like we used to hear it. Same sound, the same laid back, um, like when you're going through your hymn book in church or SOP. Same amazing grace. But this young man believes that gospel music and gospel sound should be for everybody. So whatever groovy tunes or whatever bouncing tracks are happening in town, he goes on that level. So if it, what everybody's doing now is on my layout, he will give you gospel music in that direction so that he can win souls who are familiar with that sound. And I believe so much in that principle. And that's one of the reasons why I love him so much. He has some of the best gospel songs ever in Nigeria. I say this and I beat my chest to say it. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest on the show, Henry Soul. Hey! <laughs> the soul of gospel music. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> bro. Amazing. This this marriage. <laughs> I almost didn't recognize you. Really? Say now the same Henry be this. I'm you. Ah! My grace. God is doing marvelous things. Amazing. In your life. I can see Amazing. the hand of God all over you. <laughs> Obviously. You are shining. Mm. You are fair right complexion. Mm. You are finer. You are I was chop. taking care of myself. But now somebody is taking <laughs> care of ah, <laughs> Nice one, nice one. Henry So. Yeah. yeah. No, this is Humor Hangout. I, and I just try to pick people away from their serious side. Mm. Some of the people who come still stay in their serious side. In fact, the comedians got more serious on the show <laughs> than regular people. Now they see you know, together as you uh, you know. So, how did you come about the name Henry Soul? Soul. How, how did Soul? Is it that okay. you do soul music or? You know? No. Um, Henry Soul was actually um, prayerfully selected. So I was like, my name was not Henry Soul before. So just a particular name that I am not proud to mention. You have to, this is the, you know, you are at liberty. So yeah. then, you know, people do music and you just give yourself names. So as a gospel artist, uh, my name is Ifai, and my name is Henry. So I named myself Ifi Praise Carrie Jesus. So I even have a CD, like I recorded. A Full song. album as Ifi Praise. No, not album, like a single. And I had if, if he prays on it, it was so embarrassing. So I looked at it, <laughs> I was like, okay, God, what do you want me to call myself? So I just said, so, I like the vibe, so. Oh, yeah, so I come, I, I was there, I really actually asked, I said, okay, make an open Bible find. So if I see soul inside Bible, anywhere where I open, I go put soul for my name. I was not, the, just the Bible was closed. And I heard it in my spirit, I should open Hebrews 19, Hebrews 6, verse 19. So that we talked about us being anchor to the souls. Oh. He shocked me. Oh. He shocked me. Oh. So from there, and I put Henry, that's my name, then soul. So we no bring anchor to the soul, short. like what you just explained, yes. anchor to the souls. Wow. Yeah. And it's yeah. been working. Me, well, maybe not for everybody, but for me, every time mm. you drop a new song, it just takes me on a ride. And wow. I get immersed. I don't tell you, but I'm telling wow. you now. Wow. For me wow. to ask you to bring those songs yeah. for a purpose is for you to know that I've been following, following. The, you know. Uh, for me, I, I believe music shouldn't be defined by uh, language, yeah. by religion, yeah. by, you know, culture. Music, good music should be good music. Yeah. And yeah. I, I see you doing good music, and that's yeah. why I fall in love Amazing. with you. Yeah. Amazing. So, um, being a gospel brand, mm. 
It doesn't take anything away from you yeah. so long as you're doing good music. Where did you grow up though? Did you study up. music at all or any? You know? No. Nah. Same choir routine. My dad was a pastor, so church setting and all that from there I started singing. You know, that's where the thing became like this. But there's something I usually like to tell people that, and I've been putting it on my Instagram page a lot, that gospel is not a genre of music. Gospel is a message. So because uh, if you if you try to create that, this thing and target gospel, the gospel is a message. It's, you can do music, I can do a beat I've, that I've, is I've, I've not gospel. I've heard all your songs, <laughs> as in, ah. We yeah. were at one function one day, and there was this bounce that was trending that time. Mm. And as I heard, I was like, "Man, this is groove." The next thing, you came on stage. What? <laughs> How? <laughs> Wait, who is he? <laughs> as in the thing just. Yeah, yeah. You no know, yeah. sound that you can play anywhere. Exactly. You know, because my perfect example is Mary Mary. Mm-hmm. You know, take the shackles off my feet and make yeah. and anybody could dance that song at the time. Vibe. Some mosque, you know, vibe. They could vibe, you know. So I don't think I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you totally, totally. Church boy, choir boy. Um, I don't think you've gone outside of that circle before. Mm, nah. Now that same circle. Is there. Your wife is a choir girl too. Hey, funny enough. Her <laughs> dad is also a pastor. <laughs> No, how, so. how do you church people always do it, that everything is around church? You know, church. the thing is, it's not church. like what, it's not our fault, actually. So it's, as, as the thing, they carry us good now, and I even go follow, <laughs> no, we get it. It's not our choice to make. So when we get, and another thing is, we have this mindset, not, it's not supposed to be so, but sometimes it helps. We have this mindset that like minds will flow now, together. Having been a church boy, soul singer, you know, mm. a lot of guys through this path yeah. have gone to making more quote unquote secular music. Yeah, yeah. The Bunch, yeah. Um, Terry G, yeah. um, a lot of them. Mm -hmm. In fact, St. Janet, St. Bottles Cathedral, St. Janet, you know. <laughs> now, is it ever going to be possible? Can mm. it ever happen that you also, because you have, you know, that affinity. That tendency. Yeah, that tendency. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, because if a Don Jazzy sound bounces and they play mm. your own, it's on the same yeah. metronome, same tempo. Yeah. Is it possible that one day something can just switch you to go and do regular like Bedu? It can't fit, though. <laughs> you know, it, there's a reason. See, I don't do what I do because I want to do it. I do it because of conviction. Oh, cool. So I, most of the time, when I when they ask this kind of question, I'm always very confident saying it. So they're like, ah, let me make you this so sure because I've actually seen a lot of stuff. You know, the video I did with Clarence Peters, so I was signed with a label and everything. The video with Clarence Peters was really big. It was on BET, you want to see some yeah. back. Liu Bauer presented it. The gospel music. So people were like, ah, this, that, that, this guy, man. So after that time, I had a little bit of issues with my label. Amazing guys, but you understand, you get yeah. the label, what do you think will reach? Yeah. They yeah. don't, they don't business. Really, because not business. Yes, So the, some things came up and they thought that I would easily just say, okay, now since we don't day, yeah, maybe we just go like this. I still, I said, I don't go promote my business. I said, no problem. Hmm. It was not like I was That's being beyond stubborn, conviction. But, yeah. <laughs> That's, some people say stubbornness. Exactly. And, and strong head. But what I see. You have liver. Yeah, you do get the point. <laughs> you have, you so, what's not a CBC? If, if we have music on air, sometimes we don't be so comfortable with it. Our children, they watch them. You know, like I'm on. You know. Especially when you watch videos. There are sometimes you want, to, you want to party with your family. And you see these things, they enter their mind. It creates, forms a mindset and a belief system. And you know, and if you don't. Professor! <laughs> Preach it. <laughs> so if you form that system in their mind, they grow up with it, and the foundation of every child is very important. Yeah, it's sounding like I'm the one on the other side of this. You understand? Because as I talk, I feel saying I use it. It's sounding like me on the other side. How many albums so far? So far, two, one is coming up. How many songs? I know, no, no, it can't I, be two albums. I can't count. Uh -huh. I have a lot of singles. Uh -huh. uh, uh, when I you say two albums, I'm like, no, 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 no. A lot of ah. <laughs> there was one season you sent about six songs on WhatsApp. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, right. I, 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 
<laughs> As you go drop them, I go look. I just the drop and go. <laughs> Do you have a studio? I have a small studio in my house. So record two, my voice. Two a.m. You just I've stand up. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And your wife will allow you wake up and. Dance. And they allow very soon. They don't they let me know. Say well, okay, maybe that kind of maybe during a uh, hot season. Mm. Not be like rainy you know, season. I just marry. Mm. Uh-huh. But you can't try during rainy declare. season. Mm. Stand up at two a.m. during rainy season to go and do so production. They're supposed to be standing. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, we'll be yeah. back. Uh, it's yeah. still Himo Hanga with Kofuda Guru, the yeah. host with the most. I'll be back. Just take this time out for a minute. Hi, my name is Koi Manu Gashige, comedian, and I'm a Yoruba boy from the north, Ogbomosho North, you know. And I have one um, very, very funny uncle. I beg if you get anybody for your family who tell you say I want to become something, ask and well. Because this is my uncle tell my papa say he want to become architect. Today is the architect of our family problem. You know, this guy is very irresponsible. In fact, he's an hoodlum. This guy, very irresponsible man being. My papa can't tire for him. He can't get another of our own family relative. My papa can't say me go stay with him, because that one a soldier. Understand? So he went to stay with him. Still, he was very irresponsible. Now they lockdown, come meet him. Just two weeks of lockdown, under training of soldier, this guy became responsible. So they called my father, they told my father that he is now responsible. My father said, praise the Lord. As my papa shall praise the Lord, now they complete the statement, say, my uncle is now responsible for the pregnancy of their landlord's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you. It's not easy. You see that lockdown period there? Everybody, guys, observe social distancing. We guys, they wear face masks. We guys, they um, use sanitizers. So, Lagos State government can't decide, say, no, be only human being. They won't wear face masks for. They can't wear face masks for all the statues where they Lagos State. I'm surprised when I see face masks for Abiola face. I am, I will love what we are in. So, when they can't reach where. The last start today, they won't wear face masks for them, but head no day. Now only hand we do like this. So they can't see, can't look safe. They don't feel wear face masks for this tattoo. In go soon catch coronavirus. They can't come out for last tattoo from Allen Junction, Conquer and go isolation center for a baby <laughs> roundabout. Now, see, this fact, they tell you, easy. Then when the looting can't start for the second period, where after the old um, NSAS protests and everything, when looting can't start, people can't go meet our lower, come out in face mask as their own palliative, can't come out in high glass as palliative too. So to let her know, say, even the dead are affected. So maybe we we'll just end this as once and for all, you understand? Ladies and gentlemen, still the humor anger to Kofi the Guru. Keep watching. My name is Koi Mani Gashige Comedian. We're back. It's Humor Hangout with Kofi the Guru. I'm your host with the most. Right here chilling with my bro, Henry So. Most embarrassing moment. Kai. Kai. Aporo versus Aporo. I mm. don't stage. Mm-hmm. So I went in with the, all the vibe. Like the song Bad Man was like a freestyle. So they were supposed to play a song. So I just, I and I standing on the rock, I got a pillar. Babylon wanna bring me down when I got Shiva. As I finish, bam, oh yeah, DJ. Bro, I was from Muson Center. Is it Muson Center? What's the other one? I think the bigger, the bigger venue. There's Shell Hall. Then there's uh, Eco Hotel. Eco Hotel. As I don't vibe, finish every. That was my biggest platform at the time. So I wanted to nail the thing. Kill it, brother. In no play. In no play. Me and myself and I had to walk myself out of this thing. And I know that. <laughs> Another FPC had to be called up, so I can remember that clearly. Yeah, yeah, very embarrassing. Okay, um, most um, engaging encounter, interesting experience mm. that you know. Interesting experience. Yeah. Uh, the way you are smiling, you are calculating which one should you choose out of five. And you understand, there's a lot in my mind. Uh, 
there was when I when I went to I think when I went to when I was in America. I, I noticed yes. say your skin changed one period. <laughs> I noticed. I, I asked on purpose. I noticed yeah. there was a season where your, your skin changed. Yeah. So your phone, I'm... your phone too. No, 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 no. Your no phone changed. No good day. Henry, <laughs> your phone changed. Ah, uh, uh, it's the day, no man. The only people I know their phone can never come, no matter how. Mm. No matter how they try, a pororo. <laughs> That's it, a pororo that I mentioned. No way. No, 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 no. In present lingua na difune. Gary, white Gary or yellow Gary? Yellow Gary to eat. Ijebu to drink. You understand? When one make a yellow Gary. So I know if you choose. How, how does this same stomach? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm an evil man. So now, yellow, a bar, now in, you know. The white one, Ijebu, you go drink them. If you make them to eat it by the spoiled taste of soup. <laughs> <laughs> that means you eat vegetables a lot. Oh, definitely. definitely. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm wrapping up on the show. Um, mm. I'll do a tongue twister, then I'll take okay. my coat. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I know you have it there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's um, Friday, February 1444. Father Francis fried five fishes for five fathers from France. No, no, no. <laughs> I know this thing. You don't change that. You don't make it tight. You where you start from far. I know Father Francis fried five fried fishes for five friends from France. So I want to believe so I go show myself. That place where you go, I go fail. I go fail, I'm go. <laughs> It's the same thing, oh. Yeah, you started from an Eva Kramer and reached that place. That was, that was the, you know, it's the real thing. Okay, let me, let me hear it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no human being I've ever done a talk to start with that doesn't say, let me hear it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Friday, February 1444, Father Francis fried five fishes for five fathers from France. Ah, I don't even remember the first four lines. <laughs> Friday, 14th, February. Uh-uh. This, is no good. This, this is one of the embarrassing moments right now. I remember Father Francis fried five fish. Uh, uh, how can I? Uh, no, no, no. You know, get the day we fry. start from there now. On, on Friday, 14th. Uh-huh. I mean, fry that thing while I just talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a crook. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a crook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, people. Um, I'm taking a quote from uh, this guy that made me a star. Ah, <sighs> yes, and, and I just opened the place, and it ties in with you being on the seat there. Oh wow. Quote 132 from uh, quotes of the guru, me. Uh, Beauty of the beast. This guy that made me a star. My book. It says, 132, it says, to be spiritual is not about knowing the Bible, but knowing God as he wants you to know him. Avi? Avi? You don't, that says it all. You are the guru, obviously. (laughs) So that's our quote for the day. Amazing. And um, tea or coffee? Tea. Tea, eh? Okay, I have a mug for you to take your tea anytime you want to. Amazing. And this pack to say thank you for coming on the show. Some wow. goodies there, wow. a mask to protect thank yourself you so from. Much. You know, thank you thank so you. much. You know, I thank you more for coming, wow. taking out wow. the time. Amazing. And God bless you so much. God yes. bless you so much. Yes. Place your hands together for Henry Saul. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And that's been our show for this episode. See you next time. I'm your host with the most, 